Welcome to the alteregos.com video tutorial section. This is going to be first in a series of videos explaining the differences and abilities that you can use in the Notification Server 7, now officially known as the Symantec Management Console. In this episode, we are going to discuss how to remotely deploy the Notification Server or Symantec Management Console agent. You'll see right now what we've got up is the Semantic Management Console. This is the 7X console. Very first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and go out to being able to install it. So let's go ahead, find out where it is in this new, oh, look, under Actions. And we're going to go, let's see, what do we want to do? We want to push out the agent. So that's going to be under Actions, Agents, Plugins, Push Altairs Agents. Then it's going to come up. It's going to look very similar to what we saw in the Notification Server 6X console. So what we need to do is probably the first thing we need to do is to discover computers. Go ahead and go out here and see if we can click a discovery. Let's go ahead and add a domain. Oh, I need to go ahead and enter it in. So I'm going to tip type in the domain that I have here. In this case, it's Nick. Select my domain browse list and my domain membership. We'll just go ahead and do both and then select discover now. It is letting me know that the new computers are now being discovered. Click on the stop discover button to end the process. We'll just sit here for a few minutes, let it go ahead and go through it as my domain is relatively small, so it shouldn't take too long. And there we go. It lets us know a discovery process is just finished and the process discovered 30 new computers and that it took 31 seconds to finish. Okay, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and see if we can go back to our actions and get the agent to be deployed out. So let's go actions, agent plugins, push Altairs agent. And now we need to take and go ahead and add a computer. Let's go ahead and select, I can manually enter in the computer name if I knew it here, which I do, but for the purposes of the demo, I'm gonna go ahead and select the select computers. This way it's gonna give us a list of available computers out there. So you can see I've got several here. The one that I'm going to select for this particular instance is Client XP2. Select that. And on this particular one, I'm going to have it moved over to Selected Computers. A little button that lets me you know I need to move it over here. Once I've got all the computers that I need, let's go ahead and select OK. This thing going to let me know. I have got a single computer that I'm going to install to. Let me highlight that computer and select install agent, which will push the agent out to the select computers in the above list. I will select install. This is gonna bring up my Altair's agent installation options window. And I'm going to leave them pretty much as a default. Select proceed. And that is gonna to just see what the status of the installation is. We have a very nice little button here called View Installation Status Report. If I select that, bring up a new page and show us what the status of our installation is. See that my last one here, if I slide it open, is Client XP2. It's giving me some very basic information, but the one that I really am interested in is the last install status, which is, is a success. So we know from this page, we have a successful installation of the agent on the remote computer. Go ahead and close that window down. Other things that we can do within the console on this particular page is the URL download of the page. This is gonna come in very handy if you just wanna send a link out to some of your coworkers to be able to install it at their leisure rather than doing a push out to it, the uh, remote systems from the console. Found that this is a another good method of uh, getting uh, your saturation points of agent installs at a much faster rate. <clears throat> Another one, scheduled push of computers. If you're familiar with the 6X, this looks very similar as well. We're just going to be able to take and apply it to a collection of systems that we wish to deploy it out. In this case, by default, it's already got the uh, Windows 2000 XP, 2003 Vista, and 2008 computers. Basically, all of the supported systems that have no agent installed onto it. And then we can select a schedule and select the shared schedule. Schedule can be at date or time, set up a custom date and time. 
and then we can set up a predefined schedule as well and then save those changes and it would be implemented. The other big thing that I will tell you I've noticed of difference that's in the 7X console versus the 6X console. Now I have a nice indicator of enabled versus disabled. In the 6X, we now have off and on. Off has got a nice red button. On is a nice green. This now concludes the Semantic Management Console 7X Remote Agent Install video. Thank you for watching. Look forward to you viewing more of the videos in the future.